Speaking of extraordinary women, I want to introduce a, a woman who has been a tireless labor a activist and advocate. She's a national representative for the Hotel Workers Union, but perhaps most importantly, she is a candidate for state senate, and she'll be running in 2018, so you better get out and vote, because that's where it all comes down to. It is my honor to introduce Maria Elena Durazo. Thank you, Mr. President. Now that's the kind of man I want in the White House. Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. I think Dr. King would be pleased with us. Pleased that today's civil rights movement has grown. Grown to defend Muslims targeted by Donald Trump's travel ban. Grown to defend the dreamers that Trump continues to threaten. Grown to defend our sisters and brothers from sacred areas like Africa and Haiti and Central America. We have grown to defend transgender soldiers that Trump wants to reject. We have grown to defend women that Trump sexually assaulted and harassed. But with that inclusion comes responsibilities. We are responsible to speak out, walk out, stand up, and resist. When Dr. King said, I have a dream, yes, he did. But we must also remember that he said, no person has the right to reign on your dreams, and that includes the President of the United States of America. And I have pledged to disobey Donald Trump. Disobey his unconstitutional assaults on our freedoms and diversity and equality and sisterhood. Disobey his assaults on immigrant workers, on the rights of workers to take action and be represented by a union. Our right to have health care and a pension and a paycheck that supports our family. Our movement is stronger, our commitment is deeper, and our children and our grandchildren like my granddaughters, Sydney and Seneca, will be better off. No one is gonna stop us. No matter how high their political office, no matter how much money they have, they will not stop our movement. <laughs> Sisters and brothers, there is a woman here with me. She is a hotel housekeeper in Long Beach. When she came forward and spoke about sexual harassment, some politicians in Long Beach ignored her, but Time Magazine believed her. They made her Woman of the Year and a silence breaker. Please welcome Juana Melara. member of UNITE here Local 11. I've been a room attendant for 23 years now. We work hard. We work alone. We walk into a stranger's bedroom and we never know who will find inside each room. I have been sexually harassed. Men have exposed themselves, masturbated in front of us, and have asked for sexual favors. Some may treat room attendants as if we were another amenity in the room. The housekeeper confronts sexual harassment and inhuman workloads. By the end of the day, we go home with no strength, 
no energy to be there with our families. For years, I stayed silent. I was afraid of losing my job. I was afraid of losing a paycheck to pay my bills. And for years, I stayed quiet, just like many other housekeepers. My union empowered me. And some show me that I was not alone. And I ask you to stand with women against physical and sexual abuse. I will not be silent anymore. No more silence. Thank you.